On our last video, we started dismantling the inside of the trailer. Here is a continuation of us dismantling it from the inside. Okay, there, right there is a little bit of a uh, wood pile from some of the stuff that Aaron here has tossed out. Now he's got this piece that he's... Don't hit the dog. Okay, so <sighs> this bar... Yeah. This bar, I believe, is the chain that lifts this thing. Yeah, it's what lifts the roof. Yeah. It goes out and connects to that handle piece right there. And then, oh, yeah, Perfect. definitely. Oh, wow. Okay. Now you know what that's for. Yeah. But the thing is, okay, all right, and that lifts the other side. Now you know what it's for. Yeah, and we can lubricate this too while we get it open. Yeah, I know. we have grease. We have grease. Um, I'd want to clean it a little bit though. Yeah. See, look at this. Like, the wiring on this is just junk. See? Blue wire here. And then it's just junk. We'll put all this wire correct. We'll redo all the wiring and I'll put it in all in conduit. Make it look correctly. Okay. So you don't have this stuff floating around and just popping in and out of the very little orifice. Bring it up to code. Yeah. Safety. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is a little plastic box that closes. This will, this is good because this is inside. You can definitely um, oil this. You want me to go get, get the grease? Here. Yeah, we'll put some grease on it. Um, we won't do it right now because it's up. In order to get that lubrication to move around, we need it to move up and down, up and down. Oh, good point. Okay. So, okay. okay. So then that chain goes around down there and operates the other side. Right so that's what's behind this, is the other side. What size is that, Gage? It is a 3 8 And you're removing the old this, roller bar? Yeah, we're removing this old roller wheel that, uh, supported the center of the bed piece that was here. Still doesn't quite fit in there though. No, but I wonder. That helped a little. How's the door look? Not bad. Looks no. Still got a little gapage, but it's not bad. Yeah. And this side's still pretty high, isn't it? Yeah, a bit. That is what it looks like now. And here at this point, this is where the camper teardown took a little bit of a bad turn. This is all ruined. Yeah. It's totally rotted. And I'm standing outside the camper and I can smell it. Really... Watch your eyes. Yeah, look how soft that is. I can smell it. After taking some time away from the trailer, Aaron got a burr up his saddle to mess with the trailer. So we came out here, took some of the edging off on that piece right there.
to expose the wood and now he just ripped off the other side of the canvas. That canvas is not just in bad shape, it is junk. I would use other words, but this will probably go as a live video, so we can't use those words. Can you get the square screw? We'll take those two vipers off. Oh yeah. That'll work, bitch. Cool. You can stick your head in there a little bit and see if that board's any good. It looks okay. All the way to here. That plastic piece is junk. Alright, what else is now? Board, the outside board is sticking. Probably going to do the same thing on this side that we're doing on this side. So we're doing it on this side? I think it, I can hold this down like that with a clamp. You know? It's gonna hold that in space. That'll work. Okay. What you doing now? Make a little flat screwdriver and we'll pop this up so we can just see it. But I think that this is the correct distance so that we can replace and we can repair this piece. I think we can just drill this. This wood looks completely savable, except for here where, where that old screw was. But I think we can use like just some small screws go through this this piece and into this wood and we'd be good and then that will keep that at the same spot now we still have to worry about the water damage on the inside but this piece seemed to be okay so i think all the water damage is from here see so get in here and you see this you see that yeah that's where all that water damage is from it all came in the center here and went to the sides so i think if we can fix the frame piece here in the four corners, that corner looks a little saturated. See that one? Mm -hmm. That corner looks okay. This corner, this corner looks pretty decent. You got the same screw issue, the same nail issue that other one did. Um, and this, I don't know why this thing's been so hard to pick up. The screw that goes down here is missing. You can put press point screw out of this but you see this one here mm -hmm. that should have a screw here so that that sits straight and I wonder why that's been a pain what about the other side is that okay you get underneath that cloth you can see it and this is still just at the beginning so if you want to continue to see the rebuild of this trailer tune in next week and see what happens